Hi guys, this is Darren Stevens, so back with another video. I'm actually so mad. Like, <laughs> I made this video like yesterday, it was proper prepared, ready to upload it today, and then it just didn't record. So apologies, I don't think I can be bothered to edit this one now. <laughs> so, you'll have to deal with the, um, uh, uh, when I just sit there and like think for like two minutes. Like now. <laughs> but yeah, so this is uh, the tournament report for the Thunder Dragon list that I played at white not white yes bloody hell uh the regionals in sheffield and chesterfield that the weekend just gone as you can see i didn't play the danger list and this is the list that i played it's federico mccosi's list with the exception of the lanciers in the side deck uh he played drawn lockbird instead because of the fear of the slasher fdk but i didn't think that would be played at all at these regionals um, so if you're interested to hear about the ratios, my deck profile was posted on Monday, so if you want to go check that out, I go into more details as to why I play like three of each Thunder Dragon, as I know a few people didn't really don't really play three of like cards like Roar or Hawk, but like I go into more detail about that in the deck profile. So let's just get into the tournament report. So <laughs> So I made the decision to play this deck because I just fancy something new, because I played everything else to death. And I just really fancy playing Thunder Dragons. So I go into the Sheffield Regionals. And I just think, oh well, I can't be bothered to like think of anything like different. So I'll just trust McCosy's uh, theory and just uh, go with this. And I asked him what he would change. He said he would keep it the same. I'm just like, sure, fuck it. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's go. And then, obviously, round one, I play against Thomas Rose. Who, of course, Shock is playing Burning Abyss. Which is my worst matchup. So, naturally, I just get absolutely shagged. And I don't even know what I'm doing. I barely played this deck at all, if it, if at all. And I played against my worst matchup, and I didn't really know what was going on. Like, I, I should have just not bothered. And then round two, I play against Alfie Morton. No disrespect to him. I thought I was going to get like uh, somewhat of an auto win with like Colossus and stuff. Because I just assumed that's what the matchup was like. Uh, but he ended up shagging me because I just didn't know what I was doing. And yeah... Just ended up losing. I couldn't really... If you let Striker, like, just gain too much momentum, you can't really deal with all the Widow Anchors. So I ended up just going two, and I just ended up playing Smash in the corner with Sheff <laughs> at Sheffield with a bunch of people that also, like, scrubbed the event, and I just ended up getting, like, a big Smash party in, like, the corner. <laughs> so, yeah, Sheffield was an absolute nightmare. So for Chesterfield, I was going to play... I was going to take it a bit more seriously because I was a little bit agitated that I didn't really do well, but I wasn't really that bothered, but... For Chesterfield, I was going to take it a bit more seriously, like I said, and I was going to play either Striker or all the guys, something that I had experience with. But when we got home, we played more Smash, and that got to, like, 1 in the morning, and we were like, right, we should go to bed now. And then we were like, oh, we'll sort our deck in the morning. And then it came, the morning came, and we were like, I can't really be bothered. <laughs> so, yep, so I just ended up playing the exact same thing, and I was just like, whatever, I'll just play Smash again, I don't really mind, and to my shock, I actually came second at this event, and I just don't know how, <laughs> I just don't, I honestly just don't know how, I think it's just because, like, oop, oh, I'm not ending this out, deal with it, right, so, the majority of the day was an absolute disaster of, like, games, because the majority of people just didn't really draw very well, so... Since I've already done this before, I've just I, I sorry that I'm just not enthusiastic at all. Because if if it's not recording again, I swear to God, I, I'm just gonna I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> Round one, I played against the mirror, so I played against Thunder Dragons. Uh, he he wins the roll and he starts, and he goes like Colossus Pass and ended up OTKing him. And by OTK, I mean like I just put him in a position where like he just re couldn't really come back from my board. Game two, he ends on Battery Man Solar and Kaminari Pass, uh, the, the, the link two. And so I have Evenly in my hand, and I'm thinking, oh, I just want him to pop off so I can just Evenly in him and he'll die. But I actually made it more awkward because he had Kaminari to bring back like a Thunder and then he could float, but I still ended up putting him in a position where he couldn't really come back. So it was like, it was fine. Round two, I played against Michael Broadbent. He was playing that cool Thunder Dragon Danger list, which I really want to try because it just seems really good. Uh, game one, he absolutely shags me. I just can't really deal with his Fairy Tale Snow and etc. And then game two, I make him start and I have like a few power cards. So I evenly him. Uh, he's just left on like a Colossus and a Snow. And I end up getting rid of the Colossus with. I think I have mind control, I can't remember, but I end up getting rid of it. And I ended up putting my position where like I should have won, but I made a mistake because. 
I forgot I just couldn't search for the Thunder Dragon in my hand, and it was going to be my light for uh, BLS, so I could banish Raw and then extend, and then like either OTK or force out the snow in the grave, so he would have less of a ladder in his following turn. But I couldn't kill him, so he used the snow to like generate loads of advantage. Which is just mental. Snow's just so good. I really want to incorporate snow in this deck somehow. But I ended up still like killing him the following turn. And uh, and then game three, since that went on for such a long time, he elected to start for some reason. I'm not massively sure. I probably sort of went second going at the time. But he started and he ended on uh, what I believe was Colossus Pass. And I think I ended up... Uh, that's I think that's when I had mind control and that's when I OTK'd him uh, in time. But like... He's a life points reduced to zero anyways, doesn't matter. Round three, I played against Sky Striker. I start and I go Colossus Titan. I would have went Col double, double Colossus if I knew what I was playing, but I didn't know what I was playing. And then he goes Widow Anchor on the Colossus, and I'm just like, uh-oh. And then he just scoops because he doesn't have anything. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Fair enough. And then game three, uh, <laughs> game two, I end on Triple Colossus. And he's just like, oh. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, he, made me, he made me start, uh, which so I assume he's got like heavy side deck for like, Striker, I don't know. Round four, sorry. I just, I just want to get this video over with because I'm just so mad to have to do it again. Uh, round four, I play against Luke Parks. He's playing Altergeist. Uh, same philosophy. He just played the same deck that he played yesterday because we couldn't bother the re-sleeve. He played some really, like, talented duelist Altergeist list, though. Wonder who. And uh, so, game one, uh, he we end up in this weird grind. So, he's like... I ended up having to just go on Titan Pass and he's, like, got no... Defensive cards, so he goes manifestation for silk, but I bell that. But then he sets a silk because he ended up drawing double silk, so I attack it and he brings back manifestation. And at that point, I can't deal with the silks because he's bringing them back with manifestation and bounce bounds on my titan, and I'm just out of cards. And I think he had order too, which I could have popped with titan, but I didn't because I didn't have any spells at the time to go for a push. But I really should have just popped the titan. But I popped his back row because I didn't want him to trigger a potential faker in his hand. Oh, I should have just got rid of the Imperial Order because I topped Gold Sock and that would have let me like really back into the game regardless of if he had Faker or not because it just meant I could have like made a massive push. But I lost anyway. Then game two, I elected to start and I had a really strong board and then he just went Super Poly! So I was, I, I was lost to her. Got Super Poly and he just swung with the Predator Plant card until I died. Oh well, so I was 3 1. Uh, round five, I play against Draco. I lose. He starts and he goes inspect the border and. Anti spell and Inspector Water was fine, but I think I was a turn behind with the anti spell, so my hand wasn't really great anyway. So I didn't remember. <laughs> Game two, I made him start, and I ended up just like pushing with like my six card hand with like the power cards and I side for Draco, and I just OTK him. Game three, he wants to start, and I ended up Denko in him, and then I OTK him, which is like woohoo! Round six. I play against the mirror, my friend Jacob Harbour, and this is the best mirror match I've ever played. He starts, set pass, OTK, game two, he starts, set pass, OTK. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying, like, honestly, like, the majority of this tournament was just, like, my opponent either bricked or I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just can't believe I just came second in this event. And then the last round, round seven, I play against Pendulum, and I play against... Uh, this guy starts, he goes Jackal without any counters in Bordex Borrowload and the Borrowload was like applying like a lot of pressure because if I leave it on the field he's just going to take all my guys and I'm just going to die <laughs> so but I couldn't attack over it because of the reduce effect so I had, to, I had to pop that at least but Jackal was applying pressure and Vortex was also applying pressure so, but I can attack over the Jackal uh, without giving it a counter so I was just trying my best to not give it a counter so I ended up getting rid of everything except the Vortex but he still had scales yeah, ended up, ended up adding back the harmonizing and then making Ignista, but he couldn't OTK me. And then I ended up just pushing back again with like Colossus and a Titan, and I ended up just like sticking with those. And we ended up in a really grindy back and forth, but like since I have indestruct indestructible monsters and he can't search with the star pendulum graph that he had, it was applying a lot of pressure and he, I eventually just won the grind game. And I ended up taking like a good 31 32 minutes. Uh, so he felt, I think he felt like he had enough time to like start and to win the game. But his turn one took like so much time. He ended on pretty much the same thing, but it took a while for him to do the do the turn. So when it was my turn, I didn't really have to do anything because I didn't have to deal any damage because I was on, on, already one nil up. 
but he left the Dark Worm in attack mode, so I ended up just making a Titan and attacking, and then just like playing out my turn to like have an optimal board to defend myself, so he couldn't kill me. But I ended up like running down the clock, and I just won in time anyway. He ended up he just scooped before time was over because he's just like, yeah, I just don't have enough time enough time to apply any damage at all. And I was just like, yeah, that's fair enough. So I ended up winning that two or. So yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I quite enjoy Thunder Dragons, even though I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, hopefully, um, if I play this deck again in Dublin, hopefully I'll have a lot more knowledge of how to play the deck. And hopefully I'll try out like a Danger List as well, because I'm really excited to play a deck with, with Fairy Tail Snow in it, because Fairy Tail Snow is just mental in Thunder Dragons. Like, the advantage that you generate is just so mental, because instead of dumping Thunder Dragon Fusion, you need to have a follow-up, you just dump Snow, because it just generates you like a plus three. And it's also a Link Ladder as well. It's just... It's just crazy. Uh, well, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of this uh, Thunder Dragon list. Be sure to check out uh, my explanations on the ratios and the deck profile. And let me know how you think um, a danger list would look. So I'm not massively sure myself. I've just been like using Ahmed's list and just watching him play. There was another thing I said in the last video, but I just can't remember. Oh, well. Never mind. Well, uh, my next stop's Dublin. So if you're in Dublin, I'll see you then. Thanks a lot, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's it. That was it. <laughs> See you next time. Let's hope it recorded. Please. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out more of my content that's hovering around me. Ooh. And also, do you like pretty cards like these? Ooh. We'll get them even cheaper at Jacob's eBay store with promotion coupon. You guessed it. MaxC5. Follow the URL link below in the description, which will take you to his eBay shop, and the offer will already be applied. So just spend over £5, and you'll be given 5% off your next order. So be sure to click the URL and have a check of your store, and see if there's any shiny cardboard that you want to purchase for yourself. And for now, here's a picture of my cat sleeping.